welcome to subramani here is a question which has got which has named a lot of uh, funds and i do not know whether i want to name all of them but anyway let me take a chance uh, he i am investing about 60000 uh, rupees in uh, mutual funds and i am doing an sip in uh, pretty longish list uh, 20000 rupees in hdfc sensex fund uh 5000 in mirai asset uh, emerging fund uh, 5000 in investco infrastructure fund uh 10000 in parag pare long term equity fund uh, 6000 in axis mid cap fund 6000 in uh, hdfc small cap fund 2000 in uh, sbi small cap fund uh 4000 in uh, hdfc gold fund and about 10000 rupees in nippon liquid fund uh i like the spread that you have done and i like the fact that you are investing for the next 25 years but i do think for about 60000 rupees there are just too many funds you can cut down the number of funds you got three small cap funds and it does not make sense in fact i would think the riskiest small cap fund in among the three that you have seems to be sbi which has got a little more concentrated portfolio compared to the others hdfc of course has a good track record but you could look at dsp also in the small cap fund so this is broadly is saying that but i like a little bit of gold in your portfolio what i do not like is uh, i would have suggested about 2 3 000 rupees maybe in uh i c i c a global asset allocator because it puts in various other countries you have taken about 75 80% of your money is going into indian equity which is good we will all have home bias but uh i have benefited a lot by international diversification last year uh my us funds did well my asia funds did well my japan fund did extremely well europe is not doing well but at least a little more diversification it also helps because uh, com- countries like korea give you a much better dividend yield than india so you could find a 5% dividend yield in a good stock in korea of course there is a risk that if the dollar does badly all these gains will be wiped out but yes look at some international exposure also otherwise you have a fair split between large cap mid cap and uh, i'm not too much worried that you have more money in uh, small cap in fact i would bravely increase it because you have a 25 30 year uh, view on uh, that asset class so that does not bother me too much stick to this try increasing the portfolio uh, allocation by 5 10% every year because your if your income keeps increasing and since you are taking a 25 year view and you have not mentioned your age let us assume that you are 30 years of age so you will want this money by 25 or you are 35 years of age and you want this money by the time you are 60 i think you are on the way that's not a problem you well diversified you are in different fund houses you are in good fund houses there is i don't see any uh risk in either the fund house or the scheme i'm happy that you picked up something like investco infrastructure fund not too many people uh, pick up that fund and um, overall yes over a 25 year period you will do well keep track keep reading uh, reviews by analysts about how these funds are doing right don't get emotionally attached to funds and say oh this is the first fund where i started my sip don't do that if the fund is not performing vis-a-vis the cost that you are paying then it's time to review the performance at least stop if not uh, withdraw the money right so some of these things you can do and i'm very happy that you are considering this portfolio to be a important part of your portfolio of about 1 and 1/2 to 2 crores uh, decent chance uh, fat chance that it will uh, reach there uh do not touch it for this long period and i am happy that you are all in growth option which means you will not have any dividends coming and uh, interrupting the compounding so that's very good but tactically a little more money in foreign funds and a little more money in uh, uh, i mean i'm happy with your gold allocation and this liquid fund which you are putting 6000 per month i think it's a little overdone as soon as you reach the amount of money that you need for an emergency whatever it be i think you should shift that to an ultra short bond fund where hopefully the returns will be better than a liquid fund 
but that's again uh, because you have asked me this question i'm picking up otherwise your portfolio looks good one small uh, amount of money to be put into international funds will slightly improve the balance and uh, otherwise i think your portfolio is good and i'm very happy that you're going to use this money for your retirement which means you will have an equity uh, exposure available for uh, to do whatever you want by the time you're 60 after that you can decide maybe you'll redeem everything and put it into annuities i don't not know but nice to see people accumulating money for retirement over a bunch of funds rather than saying can I buy this uh, retirement plan? Yes, of course you can buy that retirement plan, but this makes more sense, especially for somebody who is so active when asking these questions, he gave me morning star ranking, he gave me value research rating. So well prepared investor. Thank you.